Sersha told me that you had her at a disadvantage, that you were the expert dancer <laughs> and that she was all gangly. <laughs> so first of all, I didn't believe that. But do you like to dance? When do you dance? Do you dance spontaneously? I, I don't know if she's a way better dancer <laughs> than she gives herself credit for, and I think the movie is a good testament to that. Um, but I did have the luck that my mom was a dance teacher growing up. My sister was a ballet dancer. My grandma was a ballet dancer. So. I never took formal dance classes, but I grew up around and I love dancing, yeah. I, 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 I... Do you do it spontaneously? Like Oh, absolutely, but I was just gonna say, I, I miss the time, I wasn't alive for it, but like where people would be out and dancing or whatever, and there wasn't the self-consciousness of phones and of uh, social media and people having to chronicle it, because the, the experience would be more unabashed. Like, um, my sister went to a 13-year-old's birthday party recently and she was sending me some videos and I think even though they have phones that are like too young to be whatever, maybe too self-conscious yet and uh, the abandon that they were dancing with, I think it's true of the movie. That's what I like about that scene with Laurie and Joe and the dancing in general, but the way that these young characters carry themselves is as young people. There's no, or is there, I, would, I would hope to an audience member, you guys make the judgment that there's little artifice. But I, I was wondering, there's a line in the movie that says, um, my girls have a way of getting into mischief. And you say, I do too. Mm. And I thought maybe just because of the whole cell phone thing, your life might be a little compromised now because you're so famous. Do you get a chance to get into mischief? Do you have to <laughs> edit yourself all the time? <laughs> no. No, you don't get into mischief, or, or no, you have to edit yourself. <laughs> but, okay, next question. Um, one of the things I really loved about your character was the way he threw himself into um, uh, loving the girls. Mm. Uh, you did this thing with your head. Uh, uh, uh. Um, is, is that something that you do with life? Do you throw yourself into the things you love? Hmm, that's a great question. Um, I think I have and I'm capable of it. I don't think it's a rule of thumb. The other thing that uh, you've said is that um, John Patrick Sa Shanley yeah. uh -huh. said that we shop for a personality. Yes. And you've come to fame at a critical time mm. when you're developing it as a human. Mm. Um, <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Do you all right, all right. find yourself struggling, trying on different personalities? There's two answers to that. Because I don't know if it's just the male brain, but the brain develops until you're 25, right? Or maybe it's the male brain, I don't know. So in that end, or to that criterion, I'm certainly not 25 yet, so, uh, you know, I, I think, Turning your ankle on the street stubs your development the same way, or, or your understanding of it stubs it the way anything can. Uh, on the flip side, um, I do feel I was, I grew up like in New York and kind of around acting and show business, and I went to a drama high school and I came into interviews like this or whatever once I was already 20, you know, which doesn't mean I was 30, but I wasn't like 12 or something. Anyway, yeah. All right, I want to quickly ask you about the fight scene with Robert Pattinson. Oh, yeah. Batman. Oh, yeah. Yes. Slight a disadvantage yeah. to <laughs> yes. But it was one of the most delightful fight scenes I saw, mm. just because of the reality of it. Mm. And he is very funny in it. And yeah, so he is. you <laughs> talk about how the two of you worked on that. And if it was as much fun as it was for the audience. I don't know, I don't know how much fun it was because we were at the end of that shooting sequence of the Battle of Agincourt, so I think everyone was at their energy limits and everyone was exhausted. And yet, the function of that scene within the movie, how it plays out, and my feeling on it was like, I, I just love it. And because we had a fight that was huge and big and, and you know, lightsabery or something, but the director didn't want that and I love that he didn't want it because it's expectant at that point in the movie. You, you, you go, of course, this is gonna happen now. So I don't wanna ruin it for anybody that hasn't seen it, but when it takes that right turn, it, I think it's actually, uh, it's actually, we always wanna be surprised in movies, so I think um, it's actually gratifying. Your carpet, red carpet clothing mm. is unique and fantastic. Oh, thank you. Just talk about what that, oh, that I mean, means I think that's a compliment, you. yeah. Uh, I honestly just having fun with it, and, um, and it's just fun, and, uh, I relish the opportunity to get to 
you know, yeah. I, I to to wear to wear these <laughs> wear those things. But so different, also different styles. Yeah, well, just trying to play with it. Yeah. Thank you anyway, so much. Thank you. Sorry thank you. Those are great questions. Thank you. Thank you.